Hello everyone, this is Farooq uh, from Fixed. Let's discuss uh, why the CMYK black is not entirely black and the RGB black uh, looks pitch black uh, and what's the reason for this. So I will just uh, start with a test document uh, which I will create from the beginning. So whenever you create a new document in Illustrator or Photoshop, it asks you with the color mode. And you can select two color modes, a CMYK color and an RGB color. Uh, so by default, the color mode is RGB. So I will just uh, start with test. So uh, let's create a test document. Start with a plain uh, black box. So here you will always find two swatches in the color, color box. One will be black and the other one will be white. This black uh, will be always uh, in if you are in RGB mode it will be R0, G0 and B0 right and if you are in CMYK mode this black will always be uh, C0, M0, Y0 and K 100% so for instance we have got this uh, black in an RGB mode uh, the, R, the, the color mode will be visible right uh, with the document name uh, here we have this RGB uh, as we selected RGB color code uh, when creating the document so we got this one so this is the black in RGB code this is the same black in RGB code I have just duplicated it so now let's convert this one into CMYK black by default when you convert an RGB color into a CMYK color it will convert into some values like this so let's translate it into uh, a true black in CMYK code which is C0, M0, Y0 and K2 all, all the way to 100% so in, if you are in RGB mode you will find this uh, color to be a little brownish grayish type uh, than the true uh, than the RGB black the reason for this is that RGB color represents uh, the absence of red, green and blue while CMYK color presents uh, cyan, magenta and yellow being zero and K at 100%. So as you can see that I already converted this CMY into zero, zero, zero and K into 100%. But whenever you click on an RGB item or somewhere else, that value will again convert into the most uh, uh, close RGB color and it will never stay that CMY0 because a, a continuous uh, a continuous translation is being ha is happening since we are in an RGB color code so let me convert it back into this right and I will just duplicate it now we'll set this one aside so now we have got three uh, three um, three boxes right and you can see that whenever I click somewhere else and come back to this uh, CMYK color code it always goes back to that uh, close closest value to, to the RGB so if you keep keep moving in this RGB mode your CMYK color will never turn into a true black or, or will represent as a black color. So to fix this issue, all you have to do is uh, you have to change your color mode. And to do that, go to the file and select CMYK color mode. So once you are in CMYK color mode and you convert your CMY into 00 and k into 100 it will automatically convert into a pitch black color see this one is the same way okay, we we got these both from that uh, from conversion but i have now converted this one into cmy and k into 000 and 100 but now if i click on some other item and comes back to this cmyk color it will always remain this uh, CMY and K with these values.
on the other hand i have got this rgb color from the previous uh, like before conversion let for example convert this into r0 g0 and b0 so now this is our rgb color this is our cmyk color see this cmyk color will be presented as r35 g31 and b32 so this is a very important point so this one is the same 35 31 32 this one is also the same 35 31 32 but if i look into this in cmyk mode this one has the value c0 m0 y0 and k100 and this one has got the value c some like different different values so when i will i will i convert this back into an rgb color mode you see what will happen this color got converted back into an rgb color and since rgb colors does not translate perfectly into uh, perfectly into a cmyk uh, cmyk color and back and forth so this value will all this black will always this cmyk black will always looks like a brownish color and see on the other hand this rgb color has retained uh, its blackness uh, from being converted into cmyk and rgb so to fix this like if you, if you are if you are working with a cmyk color in an rgb uh, rgb color space you will always have issues while fixing uh, fixing your color code you will make it cmy0000 and your k100 and it will always look like uh, look this grayish one there is another method so to solve this you have to change into cmyk and then do this this step and it will turn into, into a complete black let me do it once again and you see now it's an entirely black another method to fix this is that you can use a cmyk color but this time you will have to select these values where the cmy and k values are 60 60 60 and 100 so this is normally used in printing and this is also known as rich black what happened with rich black is that it looks uh, it looks like an rgb black it will look like a uh, pitch black color and when you print it it will also come uh, as an entire black color and there won't be any problem with conversion So now I have changed the color space from RGB to CMYK and you can see that it's still, uh, the rich black still remains uh, a, a totally black color. Thank you for staying with me. I hope this helped you.